Tonight's big story, another protest at the state capitol as businesses and even some sheriffs here in Arizona seem prepared not to follow Governor Ducey's stay-at-home order. The protesters want the state reopened right now. Team 12's Michael Dalna is live at the capitol. Michael, how many protesters were there earlier this afternoon? Yeah, Mitch, it was somewhere between 250 to 400 people, and the people I talked to say they're out of patience and reaching a breaking point. A rally that started with an empty casket being brought in. And we are not going to tolerate it anymore. Ended with a protest of social distancing, asking folks to hold hands during the singing of Amazing Grace. Well, I'll tell you what, respectfully, Mr. Ducey, we're opening our state and you can't, you, can't, you can't stop us. Let us go back to work. Let us go back to our lives. Let people make their own decisions and let us be free. Carl Johnson says he's here because his hours have been cut. This is when I see my paycheck come in and I say, okay, which bill do I pay first and which one do I put off for another two weeks? And Carl is not alone here. All over the state, some folks are starting to rebel against the governor's order, from restaurants in Wickenburg to the Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb, who says he won't cite those violating this order. We don't want to create criminals out of innocent people. The Capitol Plaza was crowded with 300 to 400 people, some here because of economic concerns, but others because they don't believe the state reported numbers when it comes to COVID-19 cases and deaths. Do you believe any numbers that come out? No. We are waiting for numbers as we speak for testing. Are you going to trust those numbers that come out tomorrow? No. We're tired of numbers. So they stood united hand in hand against social distancing and the stay at home order. Now, the group that organized this entire event says they are willing to stand by any business that ends up basically trying to protest this order. But of course, we'll see exactly what ends up happening over the next couple of weeks. We're in Phoenix, Michael Doudna, 12 News.